This is Philadelphus coronarius, sweet mock orange, and it is a large deciduous shrub with spectacular uh, white bloom in the spring. This is in April 2015. This is in Danville, California. So this is a hot inland valley um, and we get cold winters down in the 20s Fahrenheit. And uh, anyway, let's jump into this plant and why we like it. Uh, these beautiful white flowers are quite a display in the spring. As I mentioned, I'm just giving you a close look at the leaf as well. And um, so there it is in all its glory. Now why this is a good one to look at is because it looks like it hasn't been touched in years. Um, so it, it's its most natural state. And this is about 20 to 25 feet wide, this larger one you were looking at, by about 15, 18 feet tall. And um, that's a very large plant. That's larger than what they say in the book. But um, again, it's not often you see something that's just let go like that so you can see its natural state. Uh, the other thing to know about this is the fragrance is amazing. Um, when I was taking these photos, the smell was just something to behold. So um, very fragrant. That's why it's called sweet mock orange, like orange blossoms. I didn't think it smelled like uh, orange blossoms, by the way, but it's a really lovely fragrance. Um, so you can use this, there's, there's a number of um, varieties of this that are smaller and more manageable for a typical garden, by the way. Um, cor straight coronarius is um, not as easy to find as some of the different varieties or cultivars, so can, you can look into that and see what you can get locally. Uh, I really just wanted to cover this shrub and expose it to those who don't know it. It's not well used in my area anymore, although a few people use it, but um, I think it's worth taking a look at, and especially if you're in a cold weather area, uh, this is hardy down to minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very, very cold, so you can use this in some of the most extreme areas, and um, so that makes it appealing in ways that other plants may not be able to handle that. And then again, the fragrance. There's you know, the blossom, I would say, lasts two to four weeks. Um, I don't think it's super long lasting, but it, it, you know, four weeks for a blossom in the spring is pretty good cycle. My azaleas only did two weeks this year, so I think that's pretty good strong bloom cycle. And then um, along with the fragrance. So great large shrub to bring in spring um, with kind of a big bang and... Um, really nice foliage as well uh, and I've grown this in part shade by the way this one's in full sun and is handling it just fine but I've grown it under as an understory shrub and it handled that just fine and also this is in heavy clay um, so I don't think this is too particular about soil um, from my experience I've grown it as well and I, I had rocky clay and it handled that just fine that's what I can tell you about Philadelphus coronarius, sweet mock orange, beautiful deciduous shrub.